Hi guys, do you ever try to replace the sky where I have some trees with a lot of branches and leaves? It's not easy, but with Alpha Channel Selection, we can achieve a perfect result. Stay with me and I'll show you. I picked two images from Pexels.com, link in the description. The first one and the second one. And the first thing is to select the sky and with the channels, as we see, we have a four channel. The first RGB represents all colors mixed. As we know, uh, all images are mixed between red, green and blue. That's why we have a red channel, green channel and blue channel. If you wonder why these channels are black and white, that's because the bright area of the channel represents the color. In this case, the red. Here the green and here the blue. Because our sky is blue, that's why the blue channel on the sky is very bright. Ok, hold the control command key and left click with the mouse to select the bright areas of the channel. And clicking the mask button will create a new alpha channel only with the bright zones of the blue channel. Let's deselect with Control Command D. Now we need all bright areas to become a white and the dark areas to become a black to create a mask. Go to Image, Adjustments, Levels, zoom a little bit to see the branches and play with the sliders. Okay, I think it's good. Click OK. Now, pick the brush, change the blend mode to overlay. As we know, the overlay makes bright areas brighter and the dark areas darker. That's why with the white color, just paint over the bright areas to make them pure white. Okay. Choose the black color and paint over the dark areas to become a black. Let's see the branches. Okay. Now let's remove these white spots. Just return the blending mode to normal and with black color remove them. Okay. Let's pick a white color and paint over the sky. Good. Now, again, hold the control command key and with left key with the mouse, click on the alpha channel, return to layers and click on the mask button. Now we have to invert the mask. Click on the mask and with control or command I, invert the mask. Let's zoom to see. And I think it's perfect. Okay, now it's time to put a new sky. I choose this beautiful sunset. Let's bring the layer on the bottom. And with Control Command T, you can just resize or move the image. Okay, something like this. Okay, enter. Now the sky and the mask are very well, but the image is not looking so good. 
That's why because we have a sunset and when we have a sunset, the sun is behind our objects. And in this case, it's very natural all objects to be very dark. That's why let's add a new levels adjustment layer on the top of the layers. Click this to affect only the layer below. And let's decrease the brightness. I think it's perfect. Let's zoom in to see what's happened. The branches are good. No hills. Okay. I will duplicate this layer at the bottom and delete the mask to show you before and after. And because of the sunset, of course, the shadow of the tree have to be in different direction. But in this tutorial, we'll talk about only the sky. That's why I don't want to lose time to repair that. Maybe in some other tutorial. Let's see again before and after. And as you see, with alpha channel selection, you can make a perfect mask of branches and leaves. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more videos and see you soon.